So in the first lesson, we talked about playing eighth notes on the hats using that rocking motion thing that I showed you. Um, one and two and three and that whole thing. The one thing that I failed to mention, sorry about that, is that it's also important to practice that whole motion with the left hand as well. You should be able to do them both at the same time because it's just it's always important to keep your hands even and um, it's going to be important for this part two lesson getting into playing sixteenths using that same kind of approach so the whole kind of up down up down motion is really cool for playing sixteenths on your hi-hats only because it just allows you to play some really cool and creative kind of rhythmic accents using that whole thing. So I'm going to show you some, um, just a couple of exercises or a couple of different variations of, of one exercise that will allow you to do that, that type of thing on your hi-hats. Instead of just playing straight sixteenths, you can get some really cool kind of rhythmic stuff happening there. So I'm going to start you out with just some basic one and a two and a kind of stuff. And then, um, and once you get used to it, then it's really up to your own creativity as far as what you play on the hats. But right now, we just want to get used to that whole, you know, dog paddle, left, right thing. So the first thing that you can do um, as a good practice, we'll just call this an extension of the first half of the lesson, is to make sure that you can do both hands at the same time. All right, so what we're actually going to do for this particular lesson is we're going to alternate the hands. So what you're actually going to be doing is starting with one hand. The other hand is going to do exactly the same thing, but a 16th note later. Okay, so for this first exercise, if you want to count in your head, 16th notes, we're going to do the one e and a thing because it just kind of helps figure stuff out sometimes. Um, so if you're counting one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, that kind of thing, what we're actually going to do is we're going to accent some of those notes using this alternating thing. So it's going to end up going one e and a, two e and a, three and a, four and a, one. A uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, like this. Another simple variation of this exercise would be to accent the first two. So one E and a two E and a three E, four E, one E, two E, three E, four E. That's all you're going to need to do to get used to this type of approach to playing the hi-hats. After you do that, then the rhythmic possibilities are endless. You can, you can do whatever you want. This is something I do all the time on my hi-hats when I'm playing 16s. I never just go ticka, 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 ticka. It's just boring to me. Um, unless the groove absolutely calls for it, 
You'll never catch me playing 16s like that. I just, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, it's just a really cool way to, um, to play 16s. A lot of dynamic sort of contrast, a lot of variety. And you can do some really cool and creative stuff once you're used to playing your hats that way. All right, so there it is, man. Add those two exercises to, um, to your shed sessions, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, just do them on a regular basis. And again, the whole muscle memory thing, after a while you get really used to it and um, it'll just be really easy to do. It is also a good idea, going back to the, uh, the first lesson, it's also a good idea to be able to play 16ths with one hand, you know, for those halftime field grooves. Again, you know, after you've gotten used to doing it, speeding it up is, is not that big of a deal. But um, those 16th note type grooves, it's just another really cool uh, thing to do, especially if you're on that cross stick kind of stuff. Nate Smith, I love watching him do um, this kind of thing. If you've if you're unfamiliar with a drummer named Nate Smith. Look that cat up right now and check out what this guy can do in the drums, it's crazy. But anyways, the whole up, down, up, down thing, practice your, your eights, your sixteenths, and then get into your, um, your alternate um, sixteenths as well, doing that. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool couple of different approaches to playing your hi-hats. 